Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Debatable. Today we're going to be telling a server story. And I don't think I've ever shared this one before, or I have, but this one is definitely one of my crazier ones. So let's get into it. So when I first started serving, I think it was like, I feel, I don't know. I feel like it was one of those jobs that I got because I was like, okay, I've, all my friends are doing it. It's super cool. Everyone is like, you get to make your own schedule. And I was super excited about it. My, but my first job was, I don't know if I should say, actually, I don't really care. I don't think it's like they're going to come after me. I worked at Olive Garden. Yeah, I don't think the Olive Garden CEO is going to ever see this and be like, what the hell? Um, but I worked at Olive Garden. And the thing with Olive Garden is Olive Garden's like fam everyone's family here. And it's like everyone is not family here. We are not friends. Like, you, I'm not your girl. But working in the service industry, you will see the craziest things because sometimes people forget that servers see everything. Like, we hear your conversations. We know what you're talking about. We know if somebody's angry at somebody. We see it. We feel it because our job is essentially to be there and catch a vibe. That's literally what being a server is. You're there to catch a vibe. If you want to talk to me, cool, great. If you don't want to talk to me, that's amazing too. And this one isn't even a story. Like, I've literally seen people do cocaine off of the table. And I'm standing there like, you know... I'm here. Like, this is not, there's a bathroom if you want to do that, but whatever. This one in particular, this one was the one where it's, I was an early server. It's like my first couple, I think like first couple months serving tables. So I didn't know what to do. And I guess I did the wrong thing because I ended up getting written up after this. But like I said, Olive Garden brings a certain type of person and it being so cheap to eat there, like, when I say never ending pasta, that's real. That's real. People will go and sit there for four to five hours ordering pasta. And we can't say anything to them. It's literally $5 a bowl. Like, I don't understand it. But this one specific day, I think it was like, actually, I remember it so vividly. It was a Sunday lunch. And I was like, okay, it's going to be quick, easy. Um, by the way, you make no money when you work at Olive Garden. You make absolutely no money. I think I worked Mother's Day. I did a double. A double. That means from opening to close, I worked. And I think they open around like 11 or 10, close at like 10 o'clock. I made like $150. That's what a double was. So I thought, I was like, you know what? I got to take all these tables, whatever. Again, it's because of the never ending pasta. These people just don't get up and they don't tip, whatever. I'm going on a tangent now. Sorry, I'm like ranting now. But working a Sunday lunch and I'm like, okay. I have three hours left. I can maybe pick up like another three to four tables. So I get sat with these two girls. And immediately when I walk over to the table, I can tell that something's off with them. Like they're just not acting like normal human beings. And I was like, I know it's not because they're excited about the pasta, bitch. Because they're, they're literally sitting there and they, like, they're dozing off. And I was like, oh, my God, me. I'm so tired, too. Ha, ha, ha. I try to make a joke. They didn't laugh. Like, there was no reaction there. They were just, like, dozing off. And I was like, okay. If you were so tired, girl, you know you could have just Uber Eats the pasta to your house. Like, you, okay. Cool, great. I just thought they were sleepy. I was wrong. Um, they were on drugs. Uh, <laughs> and I walk over. And I'm, like, grabbing stuff. I'm trying to talk to them. But they're just not being receptive and I was like okay clearly they're really tired that's fine let's get them in let's get them out and I go over to the table I bring them waters and I'm like oh can I help you with something and the girl's like what verbatim is she's looking at something on the menu she and she's like what is like keeps doing this she's like what is that and um, she doesn't even know what she's pointing at and I'm like ma'am, what? Like, what are you asking me here? I don't know what you're asking here. And she just cannot make a sentence. Either one of them cannot make a sentence. And I'm like, girl, like, can I get you a pillow? Like, I genuinely was on the thing of like, they're just so tired. And it's so crazy that you would come to a restaurant this tired. Like, okay. And this is when things got a little weird because she kept asking me questions. And in the middle of the question, her like, again, she was just like dozing off. So I was like, I don't know what to do here. Like, I, I don't know what to do here. And I was like, uh, do you want like maybe a Red Bull? Can I get you like a coffee or something? And she was like, mm. 
literally just gibberish. Gibberish didn't understand anything she was saying. Um, I was like, okay, I'm just going to leave them alone. I come back and her other friend, who is also dozing off, is like, oh, hey, um, can you come over? We're ready to order. And I was like, okay, sure. Go over. They order their food of whatever I try to understand what they're saying. And the girl looks at the other girl. She goes, where's our vape? And I was like, hmm, well, okay. And she's like, where's our vape? And then they start, like, looking. And I get that because, like, you need your vape. I get that. And I'm like, oh, uh, let me help you look. Let me look underneath the table. She goes, no, 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 you don't look. And I was like, what? Okay. I'm trying to be serviceable. I don't know what you really want from me, but that's fine. And I was like, no, 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 that's okay. Like, let me look underneath the table. Sometimes, like, it falls. There's, like, crevices. Like, why don't you get up and I can push open the booth and maybe it fell within that crevice. And then they start, like, panicking because they're like, no, 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 don't look, don't look, don't look. And I was like, okay, whatever. They keep going, like, where's my, where's my vape? Where's my vape? Where's my vape? Where's my vape? And I'm like, girl, I don't know. I'm trying to make it easier for you, but whatever. So then I'm like, okay, you don't want me to... Obviously, they're very, 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 like, persistent on me not helping them look for this. So I'm like, okay, whatever, that's fine. I'm going to walk away then. Walk away and literally they're panicking, they're panicking, they're panicking, and then they go to the bathroom. And I hear the girl being like, I think you left it in the bathroom. Let's just go to the bathroom. And I'm like, they haven't even been to the bathroom. Like, I have I sat you. I saw when you walked into the restaurant. You have not been to the bathroom. That doesn't make any sense. So I'm talking to my manager, and I'm like, I have this really weird table, and they're just giving me a weird vibe. Like, I don't, I, I don't want them to complain about anything, but, like, it seems like they're really tired. Um, it seems like they're just, like, I don't really understand what they're saying. They ordered something, but like if they ordered carbonara, they were just like, rah, 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 rah. and I was like, all right, carbonara girl, I guess that's what you want. Um, I was like, so just to let you know, if something goes left, this table has already been like acting a little weird. So my manager like walks past and she goes, where are they? I was like, oh, I think they're in the bathroom. And then she's like, go to the bathroom, see what they're doing. And I was like, I'm not going to follow my guests to the bathroom. And she goes, follow your guests to the bathroom. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to follow my guests to the bathroom. All right, let's do this. So I follow them into the bathroom and they're doing drugs. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, wait, wait, wait. So I go to my manager. I'm like, I think they're doing drugs. And he's like, he looks because they have to get somebody else. And he's like, what, are they smoking weed in the bathroom? And I was like, I don't think they're smoking weed in the bathroom. I was like, I think they're doing something a little bit more intense because that's not being high. Like, I don't know. They're not making sentence. They're not doing anything. Turns out they're doing heroin in the bathroom. And I was like, this is Olive Garden where everybody is family. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Now I'm panicking because I'm like, I'm 19 years old, 20 years old. And I'm like, my guests are doing heroin and now they're going to come back. And I guess like, where is my vape was like code for where's my heroin. And that's why they didn't want me to look for it. But like, thank you, I guess. Cause they have my back there. Cause I'm really not trying to be like, Oh, your heroin is right here. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want my finger. I don't know. That's not my gig. Not my gig. Not my zhuzh. Sorry. So I go to my man. I was like, what do I do? Do I tell them to stop? Like, I don't, I don't want to interfere. Like, I, I don't know what they're doing. And he's like, well, you can't really say anything. Like, what are we going to say? Just give them their pasta, make sure they pay, and then get them out of here. And I'm like, okay. So they come back. And if I thought that they were, everything that they were saying was like not, I couldn't understand before, it got 10 times worse once they came back from the bathroom, obviously. At this point, they're not even in Olive Garden. They're on a cloud somewhere. They're just not here. They're not, I don't even think they know my face because I'm standing there and I'm giving them their food and they're literally falling in their food. And I'm like, hello, like, can I get you something? Like, did it, a water? I don't know what, I, I don't know. I don't know what you want. This is crazy, this is crazy, this is crazy. I'm just a little girl. And I was like, I don't know what to do here. And then the girl is like, just whatever. Couldn't, there was one that was trying to talk to me that I can kind of understand, the other one, gone. And I was like, okay, whatever, they're eating and they're just getting it all over themselves. Like at this point, it's getting on the booth. It's getting on the table. Like they're just, I was, I was surprised that their face just didn't fall into the pasta. And I was like, okay, this is bad, but whatever it is what it is. 
what am I going to do? I can't, like, I'm not here to complain. Like, I don't, I genuinely don't care what you do. What you decide to do with your life is what you decide to do. It's not like you're over here being like, you want? Like, I'm just here to serve you your pasta. You pay and then leave. They don't even finish. And they're like, the girl comes over and to me and she's like, can we get the check? And I was like, yeah, of course. Immediately when she asked me for the check, something just felt wrong. Like something just, I don't know. I guess when you start serving tables, you kind of know when someone is going to try to do a dine and dash on you. You know. And I'm like, okay. I give them their check and they're looking around. And I said, these bitches are about to walk out on me. These cracked out are about to walk out on me and I'm about to go crazy. Like you, oh my God, oh my, the audacity that you just put me through for an hour and a half. I just let y'all slide. I let, at this point, I don't even care if you're trying to do heroin on the, on the dining room floor. I don't care what you're trying to do, but you're not about to leave without paying. That's crazy. So at the restaurant I worked at, well, how the restaurant was set up was the booth was here and there was an area where I can stand where you don't see me, but I see you. So I tell my manager, I'm like, hey, by the way, I think they're gonna walk out without paying. And I'll be damned if I leave with $50 and out of those $50, I have to pay 45 for their, their dinner. That's crazy. I'm already not making any money. Like at that point, I'm walking away with negative. I basically came to work to lose money. That's crazy, no. And he's like, all right, just keep an eye on them and like, we'll see if they do anything. And I'm like, y'all are not gonna do anything except charge me for it. Like, that's how that works. And when people think that you're dine and dashing and you're like, haha, got away with it, now it's free. It's not free to somebody because your server ends up having to pay for that bill, regardless of how big it is. Your server gonna, is, somebody has to pay for the food. And if it's my table, I, it's most likely gonna be me. So when it comes to the whole like dine and dashing, that's why I never like to take younger children, I'm sorry not to discriminate against you young ch uh, young children, but y'all think it's so funny to get up and just run out of a restaurant and it's like, now it's free and then leave like a dime on the table. Like, oh, you, you ate, you ate that? Like, no. So I'm the person that will run after you and that's exactly what I did. I'm standing there and I see them like looking around, looking around and they're like, okay, wait, one at a time. Girl, when has that ever worked? The one at a time, I know what you're doing. The door is right there. I see everything. And I'm standing there. They don't see me, though. And they start getting up. She starts collecting her things. Like, she puts the check underneath the plate. And I'm like, oh, my God. You really think I'm stupid? You really think I'm dumb? I was like, oh, my God. Especially them. They're going. Y'all have been going in slow-mo this whole time. So you really think I can't catch you? You really think like I, I can't see what you're doing? Like you can't even form a sentence. You think that you're gonna be able to just walk out of this restaurant easy? So one gets up and she starts like that fast walking to the door. And I said, okay, all right, there's one left. So I'm gonna, I'm, I see you. Um, so I stand by the door and I'm like, all right, I could still see my table from the front restaurant doors. And then the other one starts scooting out of the booth. And I said, all right, here we go. Here we go. And then darts it to the door, walks, literally walks, runs right past me. And I was like, okay, you're dumb. Open the doors, run outside, full uniform. Now I'm chasing these girls down the parking lot. Cause I'm like, oh hell. And I already have a, their, my che their check in my apron. Cause I knew they were going to do this. And they run to their car. And because of the fact that they don't know what the hell is happening, their car is locked. So they're trying to open it, and again, the car is locked. So they're like, open the, open the car, open the car, open the car, open the car. So then I go, and I'm like, y'all didn't pay your check. They get into the car, and they close the doors, and I'm like, oh, my God. You think I'm stupid, and you think I won't go crazy right now. So I stand in front of the car, <laughs> and I'm like, you did not pay your check. You are crazy if you think you're about, I'm about to call the police on you because I know you got some crazy shit in that car right now. I know you're carrying something that you should not be carrying, babes. I was like, and I was gonna let it go, but I'll call the police. I'll call 911. I don't know what the police number is, but I'm pretty sure that I can get connected through 911. I don't know if an ambulance is gonna, I don't know. You might need it after this, or I might need it because you might hit me with your car, but you need to pay this check. And the girl's like, we paid the check, yelling through the, like, the window. And I go and I open the, the car. First of all, disgusting car. That car was filled with I don't know what. It was trash everywhere, everywhere. And these girls look like a hot mess. And I open the, the car 
And I'm like holding the door open. I was like, you didn't pay and I'm not stupid. I was like, I know what you're doing. I was like, again, I'll call the police. I'll, I'll snitch. I don't care. I'll snitch. Give me my money. You're not about to leave without paying this check. And she's like, we paid it. We paid it. We paid it. Then she looks at her friend and she goes, you didn't pay the check. And then they start fighting. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. This, everybody relax now. This is getting a little crazy because then now they start physically fighting with each other. And I'm like, did I just do this? <laughs> is this play about me? And she's looking at her friend and she's like, why didn't you pay the check? You stupid effing bitch. Like, what's wrong with you? Then they just start. And I'm like, wait, was this not the plan? I was like, oh, are y'all are y'all acting? I was like, this is crazy. Y'all deserve an Oscar for that one because now I'm really believing that you guys thought that somebody else was going to pay this check. So I'm just standing by the door holding the door open as they're literally physically fighting full bad girls club in this car. And I'm like, but who's going to pay the check? I was like, this isn't, I mean, this is entertaining. But again, I was like, but who's going to, ladies, 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 let's take a step back. I love the show but we still need the money. So where is the money gonna come out of? And this is when my manager walk, comes out. And this is like the head manager now. And she's like, Emily, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm trying to get what's mine. I was like, and now they're fighting. I was like, I don't know, they didn't pay the check. And she's like, you can't run after people, come inside. And I was like, come inside. I was like, I'm not going inside until I get my money. And then the girl throws like a quarter at me. And I'm like, girl, what a quarter what am i you didn't get a gumball you got two pastas two sodas and an appetizer like you ate good i promise you it's worth more so now i'm fighting with her and now i'm fighting with my manager because my manager's telling me to come inside my manager Brittany, is like emily come inside and i'm like no i was like i'm not gonna come in. if i come inside and you make me pay for this bill i'm gonna flip out i'm gonna flip out and she's like come inside come inside come inside you can we can get sued so then she grabs me brings me inside and i was like first of all you can't touch me i'll sue you I was like, now, now I'm suing. Now I'm going to sue since we all want to start throwing around little lawsuits. And, of course, the girls close the doors, speed off. And I'm like, all right, that was pointless. You guys just got into a fight with each other, physically fighting each other for this elaborate plan that you have that apparently ended up working out. So whatever. I walk inside, and my manager, like, yells at me. And she's like, why would you run after them? And I was like, because they didn't pay their bill. And she's like, you cannot do that. Like, at Olive Garden, everybody's family. And I was like, I don't care if this is family. If one of my family members owe me money, they owe me money. I don't care if we're family or not. You owe me money, give me my money. Give me what's mine. And what do you mean everybody is family here? And also, they're not family to me. I don't know them. I don't know them. They're on something. And she's like, listen, you could have really got hurt. Like, what if they just, you know, being that they're on drugs, what if they just decided to turn the car and run you over? And I was like, Damn, that would have sucked. I was like, I didn't think about that one. I was like, that really would have sucked. But you know what? At least maybe then I could have got some type of coin because it's on Olive Garden property. So then I had to sue Olive Garden. I was like, so somebody's getting sued. Um, and she was just like, I'm going to have to write you up for that. And I was like, what? I was like, oh, write up for doing what? Trying to get somebody to pay the establishment that I work at? I'm trying to get Olive Garden their money. If anything, I'm like Batman here. Like, I'm not... What are you, what are you guys talking about? So... Essentially, I got written up. I never got that money, um, but I did not have to pay for it because I literally, I told her, I was like, if you make me pay for their bill after I did all that, I promise you I'm not coming back into work. Like, you're never going to see me. I will walk out right now because what's the point? I literally would have been a negative because I made no money that day, but I left with a write-up, so I mean, hey, but yeah, it was crazy, and I've never seen people on like I've just never seen somebody on, I've never seen heroin, period. So I've, and I've never seen somebody on heroin and I could not believe my eyes when I was like, oh, these girls are, these girls are doing it. I guess, it, and again, it's sad, it's whatever, but like, I was just like, okay, well, this is really happening right now. This is really happening in front of my eyes. And you just tried to dine and dash. And I'm just gonna, and again, I don't really care what you do with your personal life, just as long as it doesn't affect me. So when it did come to affecting me, I put my life in, I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to stand in front of the car. Because my manager was right about that. They easily could have just ran me over. I mean, luckily they didn't. But like, bad decisions, Emily. Bad decisions. But yeah, that was the story. That was one of my crazier first like server stories of like, oh, wow, this really is, y'all just really forget that we're, we're here. 
and we see things and we hear everything and you may be drunk or you may be high or whatever, but we're sober where we're supposed to be sober. But girl, moral of the story, don't die in a dash and don't do drugs. And if you do drugs, don't do them at an Olive Garden, please, <laughs> please. Just don't put your server through that. But that's the story for today. Um, yeah, that was a little crazy one. Completely forget. I was reminded of that a couple of days ago and I was just looking through like my journal of stories and I was like, I completely forgot about the heroin story. But when I say the heroin story, it sounds a lot crazier than what it actually is. So it's not like that. But yeah, that was the heroin story. So thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. And don't do drugs at Olive Garden. Bye.